In part three, I'm going to continue to walk you through the discover stage of the writing process and help you build your thesis statement. So now that you've read chapter 15, there are a few things I want to highlight about a thesis. So a thesis always states the main idea of the t entire essay. So this is a little different from topic sentences that we learned about in week one, which just state the main idea of a single paragraph. Now, a thesis sentence is also debatable, okay? It's not a statement of fact. In other words, in a thesis, you are expressing either your opinion or your interpretation of an issue or topic. Your thesis should also outline what you'll say in the rest of the essay. And a thesis is always given in the opening paragraph, okay? Usually um, towards the end of that paragraph, okay? Now, if in your future academic careers, when you start writing papers that are over eight pages long, sometimes a thesis sentence can maybe come even in the second, or if it's a very long paper, maybe even the third paragraph if you need to have a longer introduction to the issue. But again, that's most likely well in your future, more in your senior year than anything you'll be writing um, in your freshman or sophomore year. All right, so to help you learn thesis ex, uh, theses, you're going to have an exercise that is due Thursday. So you can find the information on this exercise on page 271 in chapter 16. And there is also a template on MULEARN to help you um, with this exercise that you basically need to fill out, okay? So this is due on Thursday. And mainly the goal of this um, exercise is to help you understand the purpose of thesis statements, how they really outline an essay, um, and to give you a sense of what they sound like and what they do, which will help you with your supporting a position with sources essay. So if you want at this point, you could go ahead and pause this video and go complete that exercise and come back when I'll discuss more about how to write your thesis sentence for your supporting a position with sources essay. All right, you've come up with your topic for your essay, and now I'm going to help you turn that topic into a thesis. And to do that, um, I have a little template here that I like uh, to use. So basically what you would do um, is maybe if you're writing on the topic of gun control, you would say, I am working on the topic of gun control because I want to find out blank. Maybe you want to find out, does gun control work? Okay, then you would say, so that I can help others understand what? Maybe it would be the benefits of gun control or the harms of gun control. Okay, now I've given you a sample template like this to complete in your worksheet. So please go ahead and do that. And realize right now that you're really still having a working thesis, meaning you're not set in stone on this thesis yet. You can alter it and tweak it based upon the research and stuff that you find, okay? But um, hopefully this working thesis will turn into your final thesis that you will use in your paper. So go ahead, um, complete the hiss in the worksheet and then come back when you're done. Now that you have a working thesis, I'm gonna help you turn it into a rough outline which will help guide you in your research, okay? So I want you to look at the thesis that you wrote in the template or in the, using that template for your worksheet and rewrite that thesis, removing the template's wording. You would never put that wording in an actual paper, okay? Then secondly, with this new written thesis, write down at least three ideas that you uh, need to cover to prove that your thesis is true or to answer the problem or question that you have. And then from there, organize these ideas in a way that you think makes the most sense. And you can always go back and change this later. Remember right now, these are just our working theories. Okay, now what I'll show you later is how this can help you um, with your research and to organize your first draft. So go ahead and in the worksheet, create your little mini outline um, and then come back to this video. All right, now that you have your outline, start thinking about what type of information do you need to prove your thesis statement is true, okay? Do you need something like statistics or facts, historical examples, legal precedents like law cases, court cases, uh, witness testimony, which would be like firsthand um, eyewitness accounts, things like that, uh, maybe research studies, uh, surveys or polls, maybe commentaries or definitions of words, or maybe um, you need the Bible, um, biblical application, depending on what your topic is. 
So when doing your research, it helps to know what type of information you're looking for uh, because that will guide where you uh, do your research. All right. Lastly, what I would say right now is go ahead and read chapters 27 and 28, which are going to cover how to find sources and how to evaluate them. And then also read the quick research guide steps A through C um, in E1, uh, which will help you and kind of summarize what you're reading in chapters 27 through 28 and up to now. So it's a bit of reading. Um, and once you've finished it, go ahead and come back and start on part four, where I'll walk you through in more detail how to find sources for this essay.